Okay, I think everything is ready to go. And, you know, today is technically Sunday, but we're going to upload this on Monday. So, you know, if you're watching this, it's a Monday. I'm not sure when on Monday, but it'll be sometime on Monday, probably in the afternoon, you know, sometime around that time. So let's talk some cross. Um, the World Championships have ended, at least the field World Championships anyway. And, you know, I have so I have some thoughts on World Championships. I have some thoughts on some other stuff that we're going to talk about. You know, and it's not just the World Championships that we have to talk about in regards to lacrosse right now. So let's, let's get started with the elephant in the room, the World Lacrosse Championship, the 2023 edition. Um, I know a lot of people were like, oh, okay, well, the lack of a shot clock, ugh, I don't like it. I mean, I don't particularly like it either. I, I think I'm just used to, you know, what, you know, the leaks in America have been doing, but this is to grow the game, you know. It, at some point later on down the line, maybe in like the next, I don't know, maybe the next World Games, we could do like a shot clock, maybe like a 120 second shot clock or like a 90 second shot clock or something like that. But for now, I understand because, you know, you know, regardless of what other countries think, we kind of, we kind of need it, you know. I mean, games were under two hours. I mean, that's great and all that, you know, you know, because of the running clock and everything like that. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I do, I do think that that's one thing. I think there's some other things that we do need some tweaking with in regards to the World Games as well, you know, with the lack of replay being a thing and then some other stuff as well. But, you know, it is what it is. So the U.S., they win their, what, third straight gold medal against Canada, 10-7. Once again, the U.S. beats Canada. And in the home of Shoney, they captured a bronze medal over Australia again for like the third straight world championship in a row, you know, for them as well. Um, some other impressions. So the top, the top seeds for the other pools, pools B through F, England, Israel, Jamaica, Italy, and, and Puerto Rico. Um, and then Japan, you know, that was also a top seed. So they're going to move on up to Pool A. So they're going to move on up to Pool A. They beat England in the fifth place game. Um, Shinya Tataishi, you know, a company, what a gritty, joyful, beautiful performance by the Japanese. I mean, they had like, what, a plus 48 goal differential in pool play. And, I mean, it was just beautiful to see. You know, I, I was totally wrong. You know, remember what I said like a couple weeks ago? Well, oh, well, something, something about the PLL playing in Japan, and I didn't really care. It was something along those lines. Well, Japan got me to care. They they finished fifth. They're going to move on up to Pool A. They're going to be with Australia. They're going to be with the home of Shoney. They're going to be with Canada and the U.S. So that that is really good for the Japanese. Stone Evans, Air Force recruit, and Jamaica, very impressive. I mean, there was just play out to play each and every day that Evans was making. I mean, and then, of course, you know, let's talk about the big three, you know, of the big three um, teams in these world championships. The teams that won the gold, the gold first, obviously, the Americans, Brennan O'Neill coming up clutch, five goals in the champ in the gold medal game. Michael Sowers was also. You know, a huge factor. JT Giles, Harris on defense, Blaze Reardon, you know, stuffing up, you know, things and shots at goalie. I mean, for the Canadians who finished with the silver, Josh Byrne, he's still Josh Byrne. Graham Hosick on defense, phenomenal. Jeff T, who's really just been more of a passer, you know, in regards to field. I mean, it, it feels like, it feels like, you know, the entire season basically at least outdoors, he's been more of a passer, whereas in the NLL, he's been, you know, he's been, you know, scoring like, you know, goals each and every night. And then for the and then for the home, Mashoni again, they finally were able to play a lot closer 
you know, the Stotts brothers, mostly Austin, most goals had like 30. He had 30 points. Lyle Thompson, of course, is phenomenal. And, you know, I mean, this is a real, this is a real, really, really good Houghton Shoney team. And they were able to finish third, you know, again, by playing very impressively. They still couldn't beat the U.S. or Canada, but they played very impressively in doing so. Jake Paceno, for um, Albany guy, keep an eye on him. He can play some really good defense. Keep an eye on him. Let me tell you that much. Um, so something new, something new to the coverage here is the Man Cup. The Man Cup is going to be covered on this channel in September. So when that time comes, when it comes time to talk, you know, the PLO playoffs, we'll talk the Man Cup as well. And right now, you know, it's kind of a interesting race for the 12 teams in Senior A. Mox lacrosse, remember the MSL, the major series lacrosse season, it will end on July the 30th. The Western Lacrosse Association, the WLA, it will end on July 31st. The Man Cup, I'm presuming it will start September the 8th. I read from um, the Box Across Canada website. I forgot what the website's actually called, but I believe the Man Cup will start September the 8th. I don't know. I'll talk about the Mento later because I'm still kind of conflicted right now. Uh, there's some there's some big things in the WLA. The trade deadlines and stuff like that for both leagues have been a thing. Um, the Langley Thunder, they can use Christian Del Bianco if they were able to get to the Man Cup. They can use them. The MSL, Eli Lofton, Liger, Peterborough's got him. We don't know if he'll play for the Redwoods again because he's supposed to report on, what, July the 9th, I think the report said. Jack Boyden, he transferred from Tufts to Virginia. He's with the Brooklyn Excelsiors. And right now, you see the MSL, the standings right now, Six Nations, of course, to Hoka Nanachok, Lyle Thompson, who, again, I've been neglecting to talk. Yeah, he's with Six Nations. Chiefs and the Peterborough Lakers, they're 7-2 and two right now. Brooklyn, they're 4-3. and three. Coburg, Kodiaks, 2-6. And, six. and, and forgive me I'm if I'm pronouncing names wrong. First time talking about, you know, either of these two leagues. So, um and keep in mind, both these leagues are on break until, you know, after um, after the 4th of July, you know, and everything like that. Canada Day was also, you know, on Saturday, so that's also a big thing. Um, the MSL teams, they play 16 games. The Western Lacrosse Association teams, they play 18. And, you know, right now, WLA standings look like this. Langley at 9-1, and one, and Westminster 8-2. Nanaimo at the Timberman at seven and four, the Shamrocks of Victoria four five and one. There are ties <laughs> in these leagues. Um, Maple Ridge, the Birds are three six and one. Um, again, forgive me about pronouncing names wrong. Burnaby, the Lakers two and eight, and Coquitlam, the Adnacks are one and eight. So you know, still lots of time left for a lot of teams. I don't. I forgot how playoff structures work for either league. I'll find it out when I find it out. Um, you can. I believe you can watch at least the MSL on YouTube. I don't know about the WLA. I think you can watch them on YouTube as well. Um, been trying to keep up, but again, it's been kind of a hard task when you know I have other stuff to do. So. The Man Cup will be interesting to talk about in September. Cannot wait for that. So I'll be covering, you know, the rest of the way with the Man Cup. So, so the rest of the videos for the year will be, you know, dedicated to not just the PLL and not just Athletes Unlimited, which I'll talk about in a second. But, you know, the Man Cup, the NSL, WLA, Mento Cup, at least the senior and junior a box for us. Like, I'm not going to talk about, you know, um, the B leagues. I'm only going to stick with the A leagues um, for the moment. If I feel like covering the B leagues in Canada, I will. But if not, probably not. Um, so the PLL will return on July the 8th. So that'll be next Saturday. Um, so next Saturday and Sunday. Um, All-star voting. It's live until July the 10th. So Hopefully you get your all-star votes in. I haven't elected to do that. 
And so Athletes Unlimited. So, um, again, lots of players are returning. We'll discuss that as the draft, you know, approaches July 16th, the first draft. Remember, they do a weekly draft. Um, the f- season this year will be four weeks long. The third season will be at the U.S. Cross headquarters in Maryland. You know, so so from July 20th to August 13th, we'll have 24. You know, 24 games of the best lacrosse players in the world. You know that are women. You know, six games a week: Thursdays, Saturdays, Sundays. A lot of games are going to be on ESPN2 or ESPNU. Some will, uh, a good chunk, especially that last week. That last week has all ESPN Plus games, but there are some other ESPN Plus games as well. Um, I'm it, intrigued. I'll keep up like I did last year, uh, but don't don't expect me to actually, you know, try and you know really particularly take time out of the day to watch athletes unlimited don't take no 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 don't think i'll do that i, I might i'll do some i'll do some highlights but i'm not going to be sitting here watching whole athletes unlimited games like that so um yeah so pll's coming back next week athletes unlimited is going to be you know running along and it'll start a couple sundays from you know now because we recorded this on a sunday so a couple Sundays from now, we'll be talking, you know, more about, you know, Athletes Unlimited, PLL, more Man Cup stuff. And so that is to say, with the U.S. winning the World Championship yet again, yeah, I mean, did, did, you, did you not expect that? Did you not expect this to end where we started? U.S. and Canada. We started the tournament with U.S. and Canada, but we ended with it as well. Is that is that funny? It's funny, right? At least we don't have to worry about the international rules for another three years. I believe the next championship will be 2026. So you know, it is what it is. In any case, Big Boy Sports is signing off, and I will see you again to talk more lacrosse on July the 17th. That'll be a Monday as well but I'll probably pre-record beforehand just like I did with this video. So see y'all, um, you know, throughout the rest of the week and stuff like that, throughout the next couple of weeks and stuff like that in July, you know, mostly on the weekends. So, you know, just, just stick around. Make sure you like, share, you comment, you sub, you do all that good stuff. We need the subs. We're trying to get the 500. We're trying to get to that YouTube partnership program. Because YouTube lowered their standards. So I want to up my standards. So y'all help me up my standards because YouTube has lowered theirs. Take care, everybody. And I'll talk to you more about lacrosse in two weeks.